Edit trick for everyone. In DaVinci Resolve, you'll see two nodes, Media In and Media Out. Select Media In, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for background and add it. You'll see a merge node automatically created between them. Select the background node and on the right side set alpha to zero, so it becomes transparent. Now add a polygon node to create a custom mask. Select the polygon node. Zoom into the viewer and start masking your object carefully. This step might take a little time but trust me, it's totally worth it once you see the final result. Just take your time and follow the edges of your object carefully, don't rush this part. And if you make a mistake, simply undo and fix that point. The more accurate your mask is, the better this transition will look in the end. Alright my masking is done. Now, go back to the node editor and connect the polygon node to the media in node, just like this. You'll see in the viewer, only our object is visible, the background is transparent. If the masking doesn't look perfect, just refine it a bit. Okay, this looks good now. Now adding animation. Next, let's add a transform node. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Spacebar, search for transform and add it. Now we'll animate our object using Center X. Set a keyframe for Center X and Y at the start, and move the object slightly outside the frame to the right. Then move the playhead to the end of the clip, and bring Center X back to 0.5. Now play it and you'll see the object moves from right to left, nice and smooth. To make it look even better, open the transform settings and enable motion blur. Set the quality to 6 for a smoother motion. Now open the spline editor, check the transform box and hit fit to zoom. Select both keyframes, press S to smooth them and adjust the handles a bit to make the motion more natural. Play it back, see that? The object enters the frame quickly and smoothly, just the way I want it. Turn off the spline editor. Go back to the edit page. And watch your timeline. Our split object transition is ready, and it looks super clean and cinematic. I'm sure you'll love this one.